everyone to Zydemon Encryption, and welcome to another segment of the Demon's Comic Book Corner, where we'll be taking a look at the good, the bad, and the downright atrocious. Well, I'll be taking a look, as of now, at the third and final chapter of Beat the Vandabuster Volume 1. Yeah, I thought I had two more chapters to go, but it turns out I only got one. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So after Beat returns home with an exhausted Paula, he then learns why she wanted to become a buster, as well as the fact that there are mud lizards terrorizing his village. So he then volunteers to take three days and three nights to exterminate said mud lizards, which he manages to do so. How impressive it is that he managed to clear his entire village of mud lizards in three days and nights. But this is a battle shown in the manga, so that's kinda to be expected. So after B gets his three years worth of commission settled and unveils that he was bored of getting branded after level 10, he then leaves the village to encounter Moogame once again and who has apparently used his own minions to reform his legs. So after B takes note that he's missing his arm, it's a trap. There, I said it. Happy. B is then bound up by Mugen's loose arm before he gets cut lo loose by Pawala as Mugen closes in to cut him in half. Half before he destroys is Mugen once and for all with the crown shield. Somehow. Oh really, it's not explained how the crown shield destroyed Mugen. Unless of course it has an energy field that repels pulls anything that comes near it. Kind of like Orihime's shield, which makes sense actually. Moving on. And so our chapter, as well as our f first volume, ends with Poala vowing to join in Beat on his quest, proclaiming himself to be the second of the Beat Warriors. That, ladies and gentlemen, is volume one of Beat the Vandal Buster. <sighs> Again, overall summary, mileage may vary. If you like Attack on Titan, you might like this. And I only say that because of how Attack on Titan starts, with your being thrown into the situation, and you're introduced to the characters by name, who they are, what they do, and you're introduced to the conflict. You get the same thing here with Beat the Vandal Buster. And then it kind of slows down its pace a bit, before ramping it back up, and giving you some action. That's a volume one, though. I'm not exactly sure about the others, which is why I may need to uh, continue this series. But, yeah. We're on the dark stalkers at last! And I just remembered I'm gonna need to get the other... I think it's four issues. Regardless, see you next time, and have a nice day.